Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, we're looking at how to work with sticky containers. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. You can make a container sticky both in normal page content and also as part of a layout section. Probably the most obvious place to use them is in a header layout and likely in conjunction with other complementary sticky options found in columns and other elements. Let's go through the various container sticky options to see what they can do. For this example, I've imported the Pet Supplies pre-built, which uses several sticky options. If we start on the home page, there are three individual containers in the header layout. And this second one, that just has a menu in it, becomes sticky as I scroll, and also gains the logo and WooCommerce links from the top container. That's pretty cool. And if I scroll further, this discount banner, which is in the page content, becomes sticky right under the header one, and the container height and image also decrease in size. Let's unpack how all this is done. So if I go to the global header layout section and edit the second container and head to the extras tab, we can see that the sticky position option is set to on, making the container sticky. The option below this is responsive sticky position, and here all screen sizes have also been selected, and so this container will be sticky at all times. Then there is the sticky container background colour. This is empty by default, so it will take on the container background colour unless you set it to something specific here, which it will switch to when the container becomes sticky. Then there is the sticky container offset. What this controls is how far the top of the container is offset from the top of the viewport when the container becomes sticky. You can enter a pixel value here, or alternatively, a CSS class. If you're just using one sticky container, it's not really needed, as you generally wouldn't want any container offset. But what if you had another sticky container? Without the offset, they would both overlap. If we look at the CSS class of this container on the General tab, we can see it has a class of main-menu. There's not necessarily any custom CSS for this class. In fact, here it's just a label. But if we come back to the page and edit the promo bar, and go to the Extras tab, we can see in the Sticky Container Offset field it is using the Main-Menu class to correctly offset this container as it reaches the top. Let's stay on this container for a bit as it also has some other interesting things going on. For example, you can see under the Position Sticky options that it's only sticky on large screens. And there is also another option that wasn't on the other container. This is the Sticky Container Minimum Height and this will only be visible if the container is set to minimum height. Going to the General tab, we can see that's the case here, with the container set to 140 pixels minimum height. But when it's sticky, it's set to be 90 pixels. And that's why as we scroll, the container decreases in size as it becomes sticky. And you might notice that the transition doesn't take place immediately when the container reaches the other one. This is due to the next option, the Sticky Container Transition Offset. This is set so you have to scroll another 70 pixels before the transition takes place. This value should be at least the difference in height between the container minimum height and the sticky container minimum height. In this case, that was 50 pixels, and this is another 20 on top of that. This creates a smooth transition for the container and the content beneath. Finally, the image of the kibble here also decreases in size when the container goes sticky. This is a setting in the actual image element and on the Design tab, we can see an Image Sticky Max Width option, which is set to shrink the image when the container is sticky. If I just come back to the Promo Bar Container and the Extras tab, there is one last sticky option. This is the Sticky Container Hide on Scroll option. Here, this is set to zero, so the container remains sticky as we scroll. But if we wanted to hide this container after a certain amount of scrolling, we could use this option. I'll just set it to 800 pixels and then scroll again. As we can see now, it becomes sticky, and then after a while it disappears again. With these sticky options, you can do all sorts of things. Let's return to our header layout and look at some more sticky options going on there. When the container is in sticky mode, we can see a logo on the left and a WooCommerce menu on the right. But when I scroll back up, they disappear. What this is taking advantage of is the Element Sticky Visibility option. With this, you can determine visibility for certain elements based on the stickiness of their parent container. You can find this option in the elements you would generally use in a header. If we edit the column with the logo in it, 
we can see the option at the bottom of the General tab. This option will only appear when the parent container has Sticky turned on. And in this case, it's set so that the column and its content are only visible when the container is actually in Sticky mode. The column on the other side of the container is set in exactly the same way. And so when the container is not Sticky, we only see the menu in the middle. But as it becomes Sticky, these two columns become visible. Being able to set it on the column means you can get this to work for any element you add inside, but being able to add it to individual elements is also cool, as you could then specify only certain elements within a column to use the option. Okay, finally if we look at the menu element here, there is also a sticky minimum height option in the main tab. That's not in use here, but that allows you to set a different minimum height for the menu in normal and sticky states as well. The sticky options in the container and associated elements bring a world of possibilities to your headers. But remember, like the promo banner, you can also use these in your page content. We provide the tools, you just have to bring the creativity. Ok, have fun. This concludes our video on how to work with sticky containers. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.